Hi, I'm Dr. Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of lessons on problem solving techniques. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the weighted scoring model. So what are our objectives for this lesson? So at the end of the lesson, you should be able to do the following. First of all, use the weighted scoring model as a decision making technique. We want to list criteria for helping us make that decision, add weightings to each criteria, then calculate the weighted score for each solution and make a choice based on the highest weighted score. So we're going to see now how we go about achieving these objectives. Weighted, the weighted scoring model is part of section three decision making in our curriculum for problem solving techniques course. And in this section, we see that we have four techniques and the fourth of these is the weighted scoring model. So as always in our lessons, let's start, start off with an inspirational quote. This one comes from Napoleon Bonaparte. And he once said, nothing is more difficult and therefore more precious than to be able to decide. So it's important that we want to be able to make decisions and we need techniques to help us do so. So the weighted scoring model is going to hopefully help us do that. So what is the weighted scoring model? It's a technique, technique we use for weighting certain decisions. So for example, we want to prioritize project actions or the development of pro new product features purchasing new software, or in general making any decision, we know that no two criteria carry the same importance. So some things are more important than others, and therefore we might need to add weightings to the more important ones and less weightings to the less important ones that will help us make a more informed decision. So let's take a look at an example here of some of the criteria that you could use in the weighted scoring model. Now there will be plenty of these and they will differ from uh, project to project, but here are eight generic ones that I find are very, very useful for when you're starting out using this model. So these are the value, risk, difficulty, success, compliance, relationships, stakeholder, and urgency. These criteria can have different weightings. So for example, in some projects, uh, the risk of one project might be uh, one solution might be higher than with a different solution. So therefore we need to weight that in. And whatever you do, make sure that your weightings add up to 100%. It's a common mistake in weighted scoring model that this is not done. So the weighted scoring model is a numbers backed methodology for making decisions. It's a bit like cost benefit analysis, which is a financial tool. This is a numbers one. And again, we use simple spreadsheet software, such as Google Sheets or Excel. Um, I find it's best developed in a team. Um, you, you, you may not do this, but if you get a group of people together, and I think we'll see why in a moment uh, developing it in the team is, is a better idea. And that way then we can get uh, a different perspectives on certain value adjustments, such as, for example, our cost and effort and time involved with different solutions. So how do we decide which solution to take? Let's say, for example, we are looking at requirements. And uh, we've got three different requirements, requirement A, requirement B, and requirement C. And I've got only three different um, criteria here. And for simplicity, I'm just labeling them X, Y, and Z. And the first thing I want to do then is add a weighting to each of the criteria. So we can, I can tell here that criteria X is uh, very, very important. It is weighted 50% of all the values. Criteria Y, not important, so it's weighted only 30 and criteria Z is the least uh, uh, weighting of the overall at 20%. And you can see then that these add up to 100% in total. So always do a check that you've got that there. So we can see here that the, not, these three criteria, none of them have the same weighting. They have different weightings and we want to take that into account. And then we go and score the three different requirements or the three different solutions here on the right hand side. So for uh, solution A or requirement A, uh, for criteria X, I'm giving it a score out of 100 of 70. For criteria Y, I'm giving it a score of 40 out of 100. And for criteria Z, I'm giving it a score of 40 out of 100 as well. And you can see I've done the same for requirement B, giving them scores of 45, 85 and 80. And requirement C, 40, 30 and 50. So it's not easy there to figure out which one we should choose. So we need a weighted score. So what I do then is, you can see across the bottom, I've got the weighted scoring values and let's see how they are worked out. So for solution A, what I do here is um, each of the scores, I multiply them by the weighting and then add total them all up together. So this number 55 at the bottom here comes from, we've got 50% multiplied by 70. You, again, you can do this in, 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 your, in your spreadsheet. 50% multiplied by 70 plus 30% multiplied by 40 
plus 20% multiplied by 40. And when you add all of those up, you get a weighted score of 55. And then we do the same for solution B and also the same for solution C. And we can see that in this case here, solution or requirement B is the one with the highest weighted scoring. So this is the one that we prioritize. So this is the one that we choose above the other one. So if this was three solutions, based on this simple weighted scoring, I would choose solution B because it has the highest weighted score of 64. Now let's take a look at a little bit more elaborate uh, example here with more detail on it uh, than the simple example I've just looked at. Over here on the left-hand side of this table, I've taken the eight criteria that we looked at a few moments ago. And these um, here are going to be used to choose, to decide which of these five requirements should be done, should be used on the right-hand side. So let's say I'm conducting a, a requirements um, gathering exercise, and I've got five requirements here, and I want to know which ones do first, or which ones should be done, and which ones maybe should not be done, which ones are the more most important, and which ones are the least important. So I've just labeled these simply requirements A, B, C, D, and E. So I've worked out in my criteria here the, the weighting for each one. So I'm giving value and risk quite a high rating compared to the others of 20% each. Uh, the difficulty of implementing the solution is scored 15%. The likelihood of success is 10%. Compliance and relationships are the least weightings of 5% each. And we've got stakeholder and urgency listed here. And I add all of these up, you can see that I get 100%. And then as I did with the simple exercise, I go in then and I score each of the five solutions, each of the five requirements based on each criteria. So I'm not going to go through every single one of these. I'm going to look at the first one here, value, which has a weighting of 20%. And for C, um, requirement A, value gives us 80 out of 100. So that's a good score. Only gives us 45 out of 100 for, for, for B. Uh, solution C gives us 40 out of 100. Solution D is really low at 15 out of 100. And solution E gives us... 35. So based on value alone, uh, disregarding the weighting for the moment, we would choose requirement A because it has a much higher score, as you can see, than the other four requirements. And then we do the same for all the other criteria, risk, difficulty, and so on, all the way down to urgency. And we can see that each of the requirements score differently in each of the areas. So while re so requirement A scores very, very high on value out of 100, we can see for stakeholder, uh, it only scores 25. We saw that requirement D scores very, very low on value, but it does score very high on relationships. So it's hard to know which one to choose without weighting. So then I do then what I did before. I'm going to multiply the weightings by each, the scores for each of the solutions. So when I do this for solution A, I multiply for value 20% by 80, plus 20% by 60 for risk, plus 15% uh, by 55 for difficulty, and so on down. And I get a total weighted score of 54.8. So that's my requirement A is scoring there. I do the same for requirement B. So multiply the weightings, and it's simple to do this in Excel or in Google Sheets. Multiply the weightings percentages by each of the individual scores for B, add them all up, and we get a total weighted score of 60. Do the same for uh, C, D, and E, and we can see that we're getting a different uh, uh, overall weighted scores, and this gives us a different picture as to which solution to take. So straight away, I can see that solution B is the one with the highest weighted score. So this is the most important requirement. This is the solution I should choose based on the weighted score. But there's also some interesting in here to look at as well, in that this weighted score is just a little bit higher than A, which in turn is a little bit higher than E. And requirements C and particularly D are scoring very, very low. And perhaps as part of the exercise, we could eliminate C and D from the picture at an early stage in our analysis. So uh, if we want to uh, eliminate those and then maybe remeasure the uh, remaining requirements and see what comes out in the analysis there. Of course, what you can also do here is um, change the score. So in your team, you, you know, you're bound to have um, a disagreement uh, on, for example, what weighting should be applied to value. So some people might say 25%, other people might say 15%. So you can do a little bit of changes here and see what effect that has on the scores. So what do you do then once you've done that? Well, first of all, of course, do a data check. Uh, make sure that, that the scores that you have here on the right-hand side are an accurate reflection on each solution. So go through those, and you know even an, an error or a minor change might influence the overall decision. 
Also do a sense check and making sure that you've got the right criteria, appropriate weightings for each one, and that these scores are, uh, for each of the requirements are based on something, re on something solid. You can do a what if analysis. So for example, uh, you know, what if I increase compliance and reduce difficulty? So what would that effect, effect have? You can of course add or even subtract different criteria in here or change the ones that are listed. Uh, also consider other decision making techniques for example, such as cost-benefit analysis of each of these requirements. So a, a cost-benefit analysis might also give you a different picture. Uh, following this lesson, I'm going to set you an assignment. And in this assignment, a fairly straightforward exercise about a recruitment model. And I want you to create a weighted scoring template for this. So we're going to look at a candidate skill. So pick a, a job. Let's say you want somebody to work in technical support. So what type of uh, candidate skills would you require in there? And then when you are interviewing, let's say you're interviewing five people for the job, well then how do you weight each skill for each person? So I want you to prepare a template. So you could do this in a word processing document or in a spreadsheet. Conduct your interview and then score the candidates on each of these. So you can have a, your team and you can do a mock interview. So it doesn't have to be real job selection. And then you select the successful candidate based on the weighted score. So more about this in the actual assignment itself. This is designed to get you thinking about how you might use weighted scoring in making a decision. So finally, in summary, the weighted scoring model is a simple decision making technique. Works best when you make use of several criteria for making a decision and, then, and that not all of these criteria have equal value. You calculate the weighted score uh, for each solution and then you make your choice based on the highest weighted score at all times considering other possible um, problem decision making techniques such as weight such as uh, cost benefit analysis to be considered as well so that's the weighted scoring model uh, problem solving technique i hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention